South Korea's economic transformation is nothing short of remarkable. From a war-torn country with a GDP per capita of just $100 in the 1960s, it has now emerged as one of the world's largest economies, with a GDP per capita of over $32,000. But what led to this transformation? How did South Korea go from poverty to prosperity in just a few decades? In this video, we'll explore the key factors that have contributed to the country's economic success, including government policies, education and technology. We'll also discuss the challenges that South Korea faces in maintaining its economic growth and staying competitive in a rapidly changing global economy. So, let's dive in and discover the secrets behind South Korea's economic miracle. Over the past few decades, the economy of South Korea has undergone a transformation. Korea has experienced remarkable growth recently. The nation has proven to be globally competitive in a number of industries, including steel production, semiconductors, autos, chemicals and mobile phones. Its cultural output, which includes music, video games and web comics, has recently emerged as a vital industry in and of itself, dominating the Korean economy. The right to property of all citizens shall be guaranteed, the South Korean constitution states. In other words, because South Korea has a market economy, it ensures the earnings and property of individuals and firms, as well as their freedom to engage in economic activity. By nominal GDP, South Korea's economy is currently the 12th largest in the world and the 4th largest in Asia. It has a highly skilled labour population, cutting-edge technological infrastructure and a robust export-orientated sector. Often referred to as the miracle on the Hangang River, the nation's economic expansion reflects the startling speed and breadth of its transformation. This incredible success story has garnered praise and appreciation on a global scale, and it has sparked several studies and analyses to try to figure out what caused it and how to replicate it. East Asia is home to South Korea, also referred to as the Republic of Korea. Over 5,000 years have passed since the beginning of the nation's rich history and culture. South Korea has seen a significant economic shift over the past few decades, making it one of the richest and most developed nations in the world, it began as an agricultural-based economy in the 1960s and, as of 2016, its GDP ranked it as the 11th largest economy in the world. But how did the miracle of industrialization happen? The government began a series of economic reforms in the early 1960s which laid the groundwork for South Korea's modern economic development. These changes sought to advance industrialization and build a stronger, more stable economy. South Korea was one of the world's poorest nations at the time, and agriculture played a significant role in the nation's economy. Numerous studies link policy changes intended to open up South Korea to foreign markets with the country's structural transformation. South Korea's export-oriented policies are one of the main reasons for its success, as evidenced by the fact that the country is currently among the top 10 exporters in the world, and that its exports as a share of GDP climbed from 25.9% in 1995 to 56.3% in 2012. Improvements in the business environment and policies that encourage investment in innovation are two more elements that have helped South Korea's industrialization and expansion in foreign trade. South Korea had a significant shift in the 1980s that led to its emergence as a major industrial power. The flood of foreign money and technology, which enabled the nation to quickly modernize its economy, contributed to this shift. Export-oriented industrialization policy was one of the policies adopted by South Korea. The creation of industries focused on exports was one of the main policies that the South Korean government embraced. The government offered tax breaks and subsidies to businesses who exported their goods, which aided in the expansion of the manufacturing industry. As a result, South Korea rose to become one of the biggest exporters of items including electronics, steel and automobiles. Heavy and chemical industry promotion policy helped to increase the country's industrial base and create employment opportunities. South Korea promoted heavy and chemical industries by providing support to firms in these sectors. The import substitution policy that South Korea implemented reduced its reliance on foreign goods and increased domestic production. The government also established Special Economic Zones SEZs, as a policy. These zones offer tax benefits, simplified rules and other incentives in order to entice international investment. In 1980, the city of Busan developed the first SEZ, which was a major success. Additional SEZs were created as a result and they were crucial in luring foreign investment and fostering economic development across the nation. The South Korean government invested heavily in education and training, with a particular focus on science and technology. 
This policy helped to develop a highly skilled workforce, which was essential for the country's economic growth. In order to ease trade and business, the government also made investments in infrastructure, including roads, bridges and ports. Despite South Korea's economic revolution being successful in the 1980s, the nation went through a severe economic crisis in the late 1990s. Many factors led to this crisis, including a slowdown in the world economy, a drop in exports and a sharp rise in foreign debt. The South Korean government responded to the crisis by implementing a number of policies aimed at stabilizing the economy. These actions included a sizable rescue of the nation's financial industry, corporate sector reorganization, and the introduction of a number of structural changes. The International Monetary Fund, which offered a $58.4 billion credit package, also helped the administration. The country's economy was strengthened and a more stable financial system was established, thanks to the changes carried out in the wake of the crisis. They also contributed to the corporate sector's promotion of responsibility and transparency, which aided in regaining investor confidence. Jai Bowls are among the business behemoths that have driven South Korea's astonishing rise over the past 50 years. The most well-known ones include LG, Samsung, Hyundai, SK and Lot. GE and the Samsung Group, called Samsung Electromechanics Company, established a joint venture investment in 1984. This investment facilitated the growth of Samsung's electronics division and the South Korean economy. IBM made a further noteworthy investment with Hyundai Electronic Industries in 1983. This investment supported the modernization of the nation's electronics sector and the expansion of South Korea's economy. Overall, the transformation and economic growth of South Korea were significantly influenced by the policies the nation adopted throughout the 1980s together with foreign company investments. South Korea is one of the wealthiest and most developed nations in the world. With a GDP of $1.6 trillion in 2020, it has the fourth largest economy in Asia and the 12th largest in the globe. The nation is a global leader in sectors including electronics, telecommunications and automobile manufacture and has a highly skilled labor force. In the first quarter of 2023, the South Korean economy resumed positive growth, albeit at a slow rate of 0.3% quarter on quarter. This came after the fourth quarter of 2022 saw a 0.4% quarter on quarter decline in GDP. Due to the consequences of weak exports and the cumulative transmission effects of the Bank of Korea's tightening of monetary policy throughout 2022, South Korea is predicted to continue to experience economic difficulties during 2023. In 2023, the manufacturing export sector of South Korea will continue to face significant downside risks from the US and the EU's weak economic development. However, as economic growth strengthens in 2023 as a result of the relaxation of COVID-19 restrictions, this is anticipated to be mitigated by improved exports to mainland China. After decreasing by 0.4% quarter over quarter in the fourth quarter of 2022, South Korea's real GDP increased at a rate of 0.3% in the first quarter of 23, resuming a somewhat positive growth trend. Real GDP growth was 1.4% year over year in the fourth quarter of 2022, but it dropped to an increase of 0.8% year over year in the first quarter of 2023. A recovery of private consumption, which increased by 0.5% Q over Q after declining by 0.6% in the fourth quarter of 2022, contributed to the return of positive growth. In the first quarter of 23, private consumption increased by 4.5% year over year, while government consumption increased by 3.9%. Exports of products and services saw an improvement as well, increasing by 3.8% Q over Q after declining by 4.6% in the fourth quarter of 22. Additionally, imports increased in the first quarter of 23, increasing by 3.5% Q over Q after declining 3.7% in the fourth quarter of 2022. After three consecutive quarters of reductions in manufacturing output, industry sector level manufacturing production increased by 2.6% in the first quarter of 23. In the first quarter of 23 as well, the construction sector experienced favorable growth of 1.8%. However, in the first quarter of 23, the services sector experienced a slight decline of 0.2%. In the first quarter of 23 also, manufacturing output decreased by 3.3% year over year, while services output increased by 3.2% and construction output increased by 5.1%. South Korea's economy has undergone a massive transformation over the past few decades, from one that was heavily dependent on agriculture to one that is now a global economic powerhouse. As we've seen, South Korea's impressive economic growth has been fueled by innovation, a skilled workforce and a robust infrastructure. 
What are your thoughts on South Korea's economic transformation? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. And thanks for watching.